Hi guys, so today I have a somewhat of a bag extravaganza for you. My what's in my bag videos are some of your favourites as far as I can tell. Um, I love watching what's in my bag videos. I also like rummaging through people's bags when they'll just let me in person too, so... I feel like you can tell a lot about someone by what's in their bag and also the layout of their iPhone screen. Pay attention to that. Anyway, I received a very generous box of goodies from iMotion. They have vegan bags, um, purses, accessories, and very generous people. So I'm just going to show you their bags and I also want to show you a kind of night out what's in my bag because I don't think I've really done that before. Um, and those are times when you just want to have like the essentials really because you don't tend to want to take out a huge bag with you. Yeah, I'm going to show you my day-to-day -day bag from my emotion. I'm going to show you my evening or night out bag from them. And then I have two others to show you as well. And there will be a giveaway at the end of this too, so stay tuned for that. I don't know if any of that rambling was even relevant. So I'm going to start with the two bags I have that don't actually have anything in them yet, but I did want to show you because they are awesome. So this one I did post on Instagram. Um, it is this uh, Truth or Dare bag. So one thing I have noticed about all of their bags is that the pockets are really nicely done and like a decent size because I have an iPhone 6 Plus and I also have a huge obnoxious case on it and they, um, most of them do have like this giant um, pocket in there too. So it's just a silver faux leather with like a little wristlet strap that you can take off. Sorry the light went crazy there. Yeah, obviously you could use this for like a night out or something, but you could definitely put an iPad in there and travel with it too. So you could just like grab this out, have like a notepad in there, your iPad, any kind of work stuff that's smallish. And it would be awesome for travel in that sense, I think. So that's probably what I'm going to use it for. Yeah, and I just think it's super cute. I don't usually like things with like a lot of um, text and font on them so much anymore, but something about this is just like so simple that I do really like it. So I don't know the names offhand because I've taken the tags off of some of them, but um, everything will be listed below as usual. So that was the Truth or Dare in silver. And I also wanted to show you the, um, what was it? The Bridget in Leopard. Now, if you are someone who loves compartments and um, really like organized small bag, I think this would be awesome. This is what the tags look like, by the way, which I think is really cute. And it's kind of a, I don't know what you would even call that. It's a strange, like it's like made up of lots of tiny little embossed dots. Um, and then obviously it has the leopard print print on it. Leopard print print mirror. I appreciate that. And then this portion down here comes unbuttoned too. And you can keep a bunch of stuff in there. So you could put, um, oh, there's a strap. So you could put makeup in there, you could put a ton of change in there if you wanted to, any other little essentials that you wanted to carry with you. And then we have two credit card pockets in the front and um, this kind of big section which is divided into two which you'd obviously keep a ton of stuff in as well. So the strap just attaches very simply at the sides or you can have it as a little clutch and I think I'd probably be more likely to use it as a little clutch, maybe with like an all black outfit with a ton of different um, textures and fabrics and stuff. I think that would be kind of a cool standout statement, tiny purse. So the next one I'm gonna show you, I did show you guys on Snapchat the other day, so you might have already seen it, but it's the Maisie in black and nude. So it is the perfect size. Um, I do have one from Free People, very similar to this much more expensive um, but I do think this is a much more reasonable size there's my opinion on that it does have a little tassel on the front which you can just flop over to the other side and then the inside is cream and it's reversible so that's what the inside looks like and you then also get a bag in a bag now usually when you get a bag in a bag that looks just like this the bag that is in the bag is more of a just um, kind of pouch type thing so you might get something like a simple version of this inside that kind of tote and that's what a lot of companies have iMotion have taken it one further and they've put an actual bag inside of their bag so it's a kind of square-ish shape when you've got it filled out trapezoid maybe i don't know um it has a nice thick strap which is very useful and then on the inside you have so much room 
So one thing I like this for is that I will have my essentials in here. So anything I might want to take into a store, I will put in here and then put it back inside of this one. And then I'll bring this in the car. And then if I want to go into a store, I can either take the whole thing. Um, and if I do take the whole thing, it means that I can then use the outside bag as a tote bag. So you don't need to be taking a ton of plastic or paper bags. Or if you know you just want to run in for like one quick thing, you can just grab this out and you've got all of your essentials in this little one, which I actually really like. This bag itself isn't something I would usually have picked up as a purse for me, but I actually really like it. So I think it's something quite different that I wouldn't have ordinarily thought of getting. So I'm kind of glad that they sent this one. And then the pom-pom on the end is also from them, but it comes separately. So it's just a, obviously, fake fur pom-pom. It has the little key ring ring on there and a, um, what do you call it? Wow. Clasp. So, um, yeah, I think it's awesome. The other nice thing is that this is so light and I love the size of it. It's like perfect, so. And then lastly, and this was maybe the bit I was most excited to show you, this is gonna be my kind of night out what's in my bag. So I believe this is called the Oasis and I love it. I love that it has the kind of slightly worn looking leather and then the kind of suede tassels. And yeah, I love the shape. I love that they've kind of rounded off one corner so the zip can come around a bit further. And again, it does have a strap you can use too which just attaches here. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the front pouch. And usually in bags like this, I will put my like, things that I'm gonna use most. So I've got my wallet in there. This was from Forever 21. So that is in the front. I then have my phone <laughs> with the giant obnoxious phone case. The case is from um, Valfrey. Valfrey. Um, and then I also have in one of the front pockets just a lip gloss and I really love this one from Pacifica. I've been wearing it a lot lately. It's called Poppy. I have it on now over just a nude lip liner and as you can see it's not that bright when it comes out but I just think it's a really complimentary colour whether you have nothing on your lips already or whether you want to layer it on something. So um, I like it for that and it also lasts quite a while on the lips and it's not super sticky so I'm loving their gloss. And then I also have just a little pack of gum in the front as well. So those are the four things I'll usually keep in the front pouch. So you might pick different essentials to me, but that's fine. And then in the back zipper, I have my various accoutrements. French, I wish I could speak it. So um, back here I have a hand sanitizer. This one is from Dr. Bronner's. I love it because it is probably one of the only like actual vegan cruelty free hand sanitizers there are out there. You can make your own, but we don't always have time to do that, do we? And I also love that it smells like lavender because sometimes just to like feel a little fresher and have like a nice scent, um, I think really helps. So lavender hand sanitizer. I also have a scented hand cream. So this is from Pacifica and it's their new scent, which is Sugared Amber Dreams. If you like kind of the Bath and Body Works, like sweet, sugary kind of scents, I think you'd really like this. It smells a little bit more grown up than um, those ones. So if you are kind of a grown up Bath and Body Works type of smell person, then I think you would really like this and everything in that scent is really nice. So that's a nice little size. I have these floss um, sachets from Radius. They are 100% biodegradable and vegan and they're cranberry flavor apparently, but I don't really taste any flavor. So it's just a little pack that comes out like this and when you tear it in half and pull it, it has floss running through it. So those are always useful. I also have my Too Faced Press Pine, Pre Too Faced Pressed, primed and poreless powder. Wow, in here. So it does have a nice mirror in it as well as I usually will bring my e.l.f. Um, Ultimate Kabuki brush too because it's huge and so you just do a swipe and you're done. So loving that. I have a tiny um, diamond cell nail file. This is the mini two if that's relevant. And then I have a roll-on perfume. This one is Harvey Prince Hello. Um, Harvey Prince do have a ton of scents. I will put my blog post on vegan perfumes below if you wanna check that out. Um, but Hello is always, I think, a good one to start with because I don't think it could be offensive to anyone. It's like a really fresh smell. So I usually will have a Harvey Prince perfume of some kind in my going out bag. Um, and I tend to get comments on
free. Um, all you need to do is add the mini rollerball to your cart on harveyprints.com and then you can use the code best gift I think. All of the information will be below um, and then you just have to pay for shipping and you get one of these free so um, that's an awesome way to try it out. And then that is it. Again this is the Oasis from iMotion in black. I love the fringe. I didn't I don't really have anything with fringe on I don't think but I just love how it looks because it's kind of looks a little bit vintage and worn already so I really like that about it. And this is actually the thing that you could win. So I will put a form below that you just have to fill out your basic info. Um, and then either myself or Emotion will pick a winner at random and then you will get your own one of these bags. I would enter if you were interested. So that's it for this kind of what's my bag extravaganza show and tell thing. I do really like everything I've had from iMotion. I'm really impressed with the quality. Um, and I do think they kind of have a little bit to suit everybody because I'd seen some of their other stuff before and it just like wasn't really me But then once I had a look through their website, I actually found a ton of stuff that I really liked so um, They definitely do have something to suit everyone and um, very reasonably priced so um, Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye